Okay, we are going to attempt to repair this Toy Biz Marvel Legends 12 inch icons Captain America. As you can see, he has seen better days. All the parts are here, but there is one crucial part here that has issues. You see this here is a flange that sits inside this hole here. And you can see there is a blue like rubber o-ring there that keeps the pressure you know so he doesn't flop around. Well what's nice is I found the broken part of this flange inside the body. The biggest deal is going to be getting these halves apart. This one's already almost apart, so whenever it fell off the shelf, that kind of jarred loose. So yeah, I'm going to try heat. And uh, I managed to get this off. This was actually pretty easy. It's just a single spot of glue right there and right there. So that was actually quite nice. So yeah, the hardest part again is not gluing these guys on. No, that's easy. It's going to be getting these two halves separated so we can get this open, get this back in here, and get it re glued. So yeah. Let me see if I can work on that for a minute. I got it open, semi open anyway. And I've used these toothpicks here because there's so much pressure on this lower waist here. And the pressure is coming from that peg right in there. This peg is actually glued inside its uh, port right there. So it's still very, very tight. So you have to be careful because we don't want to break anything. As you can see, there is a stress crack right here right now so we want to be careful so we're gonna to have to finagle this back in but putting the toothpicks in through the side keeps them out of the way we'll deal with this upper crack here last because we still have to put this hinge in which we had here this guy so I don't want to glue that until this guy is in but uh, one step at a time, right, baby steps? So now the next thing we have to do is take the pieces that we found in here, and this guy right here, glue them on, and then we are going to attempt to force this whole system back in here. Keep in mind that this blue washer here is removable. This blue washer here has to actually be inside here as well. That's actually what takes up the slack so this thing doesn't jock around all over the place all right so one thing at a time so first things first we have one little piece here as you can see and we have another piece that I just had in my hand and gluing it up into it as you will see us do come on keep your fingers out of there Ah, oh, great. Glued it right to my fingers. It's amazing. The glue will stick to um, your fingers before it sticks to the item you actually want to glue. Amazing how that works, isn't it? That's not working so good, is it? Come on. That didn't work out so good. I'll try this again. Come on. There we are. We don't want to glue that to the bottom because it needs to be right under that flange, you know? Like that. See that? Let's get it there. One little piece at a time. A little spot of glue there. And we'll be able to put this guy on. Like so. It's like building a model. Okay. 
accelerator. All right. Accelerator uh, drives pretty quick. But you got to be careful. You really don't want to be spraying this indoors. So take it outdoors if it, the weather's nice in your neighborhood. Just to do yourself a favor. See this? See how we still have movement up here? We want to get that as tight as we can up there. So what we're going to do is drop a little spot of glue in there and push up on it. And give it another blast. All right. That white stuff is the <clears throat> glue itself. The accelerator turns it white. And uh, I don't know how strong the bond is. But wherever it's still blue, the glue's actually doing the job. And nothing has broken down the integrity of the glue. So, yeah, I think uh, that looks uh, pretty good. You see? nice all right <clears throat> now here's the funny part is getting in this inside there because obviously you can see how big that is that's going to require some more finagling so yeah wish me luck all right wow <clears throat> it only took me a couple minutes but it was not as easy as i thought it was going to be however i did get it in there and it's uh, nice and tight that's really nice joint and i managed to get that belt glued back on that was the real easy part now we have to work on the headless part now i could just shove this guy back in here you know because i can get it open but we got to do something about this seam so i have to get it in here without gluing the hinge in place because i still want the head to be completely um uh posable so, you know, down, up, uh, you know, I just don't want to glue it in place. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this head or the hinge back into place. And then I think will be pretty easy considering how the damage is already done. If you're wondering about this figure, I got this figure for about five bucks because it was in this state and most people would walk right by it. But, um, you know... I always feel that with a little bit of time and effort, you can get these things fixed. And, um, you know, most grown-ups don't play with their toys anyway. They just put them on display. And, uh, and this will be fantastic for display, you know. Come on. You need all kinds of tools here. I thought the, the toothpick would be good enough, but I guess not. You know, uh, get that out of the way. I guess I need something a little bit more rigid than a toothpick. You know, we gotta make sure that we don't chew the inside of this up because we don't want a bunch of shaved plastic. <clears throat> here, this is what we want. Clean this out here, like so. Come on. That'll be a good one to uh, use. All right, so we need to get this open. And we need to shove something in a little further back. That's not doing it. I, I mean that because... Come on. You're going to do it for me? For now, yes. Come on. Got to work this out a little bit. Not enough on that other side. But I think we can get it. Oh boy. Oh, closed it again. Ah, I can rumba. It's not my choice words in this situation, but I'll use them in case there's kids watching. Alright. Start over again. Come on. Come on. I need to get this opened. You know what I'm saying. 
I just need it in there to get further back than the hinge, just like that. One more would be nice, and I have it right here. I have to make sure it's cleared. If you can see down in there, there's a, a a recess in there for this hinge. So I think we can get this in now. There we are. Let's get this. I don't want to leave any toothpicks in there if I don't have to. So let's get this open like so. Let's pull these out one more time. Come on. There we are. Now what we're going to have to do, you see our hinge is still working just fine. But it's a little loose because we have no compression on here. So now we have to glue these two halves together. Like so. Staying away from the hinge part. You know? Because we don't want to glue that hinge in place. So what we're going to do, once again, we're going to open this up. I know it seems like a redundant process but that's okay um we're gonna need another in this side put that in there like so holding that one open i'm gonna use another one of these guys get some glue inside here keeping away from that hinge center point and the hinge all together I'll rub that around in there okay get it as far back as you can get it Okay, and now we're going to bring out this big monster clamp here. If we pull that out, there we are. That really puts the pressure on it. These Jorgensen pinch clamps pack a lot of crunch to them, so you kind of got to Keep the pressure off of them with your fingers on this because it will break that plastic without warning. I blow on the accelerator too because I don't want it on my hands. It's actually accelerated by cyanide. So, okay, there's that. That still works. And now, now we got to get some glue in that side. Easier said than done, right? But I don't need much. I just need a little. Let me shove it down in there. You know? Stay away from that hinge. It's uh, not the prettiest, but uh, we'll see how it goes here. Put this guy on here. Get this guy out of your way. There you are. Get a quick blast of that. Now when we go to put this head back on, we're going to heat it up. Okay? Because uh, we don't want to put any undue force on that new glue joint. Oh good, that still works works really good yeah that's tight it's tight I can't believe how nice that waist is oh my gosh that's awesome what a great repair so yeah I'm gonna take a moment and go heat this head up and give this guy a good cleaning and I'll be right back I got it on I gave him a good warm soapy bath to get all that crud off he was absolutely disgustingly filthy with lots of DNA on him and uh, give him a dry off. So uh, I took a good look at him. And uh, I think we saved another one from the dumpster. Most people would have thrown this in the dumpster. I just saw it sitting in a used toy store in the uh, cabinet. So the guy had enough brains not to throw it in the garbage. And make five bucks on it. So yeah. You know, overall the paint is in pretty good shape considering what it had been through. And the reason why it broke is I'm sure it had fallen off a shelf or something. Maybe even at the 
the the store I bought it. I don't know the the whole truth behind it. I really don't. But yeah. Cap. I'm gonna try my table up here. We'll live to fight another day. And his head does work good. I don't know about all that toe articulation now. I just don't give two craps about that. But yeah. Still very loose there in the middle. But yeah. I call that a successful repair. And I think it took me all about 25 minutes. And uh, yeah, you know what? If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up. Or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. You know what? But I say this is another successful repair. And it's going to look really good on my shelf. Thanks for watching, folks.